Nice, Matt. Come on. Try and push your feet into the floor a bit more. I know it's hard with socks on, but just a bit more grip. Twist in. Nice. You're a staff member now as well. I like your top. What, what size is it? I need, I need a 44. Get, get one, get one. Yeah. Going to be getting paid next. Do you know, exercises to stretch out. So I'm one of the graduate athletic development coaches. So we're basically looking to physically prepare all the athletes across all the different sports at school. Get that stretch down there, you'll feel it. So like try and sit upright. So like lean back and try and push your hips through. So squeeze your bum. The investment you get from the guys in rugby and the whole culture around wanting to physically improve they can see that connection between stuff we do in the gym and then obviously how that transfers out onto the field. We're just getting it continuously as we go through the year, see where you're at. So, have you done it this week? We'll get you as well, man. Let's get last time, 40, 42, 42.5. I think for them they'd say a bit of a rough start to the season for certainly the first few games. A bit ropey, a bit tense, but from what I've seen recently when they played Wellington, you can see that passion's there and that drive to get better after having that tough start. Nice, Owen. Come on. Good. Do you want to start with some passing? Yeah, I'll do a bit of warm-up then. Passing, well, I've got a little drill. I've got a film for Bath. And then... Um, and then we're in some, some of those kicks. Nice. Cool, we'll jump up here because I think we're in the way. And so what we'll do is, if you're sort of at receiving position from those balls that way, that so way. we're playing this way, and yeah, you're going to yeah, be outside. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to like almost pass the first one, go around to like a cheat line. Yeah. And then obviously come back. Round the ruck. Round the ruck. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Stay low. Finish. Finish your pass. Stay low. Finish your pass. Stay low. Ah, better. Keep staying low. Get that. Get that. Go. Yeah, buddy. Great ball. Better. Nice. Perfect. So good. Same thing again. Miss one. Start again. Pressure. 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 Yeah, great ball drop. Go ball. Yeah, that's one. Keep kicking for it. So I, I used to go to Welsh school. Ah, Pascal. Where's the, yeah, uh, that's called Govan Goy. Govan Goy. Arbor Tower. Okay. Under the Arbor Vind. Cain Blyden now. Okay. Especially during Hove Yosh Hour. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a medal with Dean Dwight. Oh, they're on Blyden now, obviously, yeah, Millfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, break it together. Henry, morning, got your message? Yeah. Chili car? Yeah, it was. Yeah? Get the DI out for the first time? Yeah, first time this year. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit of a surprise, the old frost this morning. Yeah. But, uh... Right, guys, um, do keep eating if you uh, if you're still going, but uh, I think this will be a helpful uh, <laughs> session from Adam. Um, as ever at Millfield, you guys are surrounded by amazing resources. My challenge to you is for you to get the most out of those people around you. Ask questions, get that guidance, okay? So yeah, we're just going to look at a few little bits today around food groups and then how we can make decisions in the dining hall based on what our training either has been or going to be later on the day, rather than just going through the motions and just sort of getting what's first on offer, taking time to actually make decisions based on what you know you've got coming up later. So 
expression in the industry is fueling for the work required. So that's what we're going to look at today, sort of what's required for you later in the day, how do we make decisions based on that to fuel appropriately. You go into the dining hall, you've got a choice, you can turn left or right depending on what sort of um, options are available. Which behaviour there supports your value? If your value is performance, think about the behaviour that's going to support that the best. Sports nutrition to young athletes is fundamental to both supporting growth and adaptation to performance, adaptation to training. So we need to think about not only fueling, but what type of fuel we're going to put in, and then also meeting energy demands because as well as fueling performance, um, we need to think about health as well and making sure we're not deficient in any nutrients and supporting growth and development the best we can. So not fueling up will, if you're not got sort of like a full tank ready to go, you start to deplete during half time, not, maybe not even half time sometimes, you're not going to be able to perform at the same capacity. That could be the difference between winning and losing in the last sort of 10 minutes of the game. Any more questions from anything we've gone through today? All good? Thanks very much, Adam. That's awesome. Yeah. Boys, let's uh, jump in and we'll make a start. Um, big welcome, Tom Ellis and you and Richards, guys. Um, they've stood here in, in your shoes, um, uh, albeit a few years ago. Come on then, let's have a look. So I'm working on your line out. Basically, I want you to show me what you've got. Let's have a look at that, see how we can help you guys. It's a great opportunity for us as coaches, but also the boys, to receive some of the coaching from, firstly, a different voice, but also I think those guys bring with them a wealth of really current experience as a, as a full-time professional at Bath. Lift-wise, can we give Jack more confidence to just actually go, go for the ball a little bit? I just want a preset pod, and I want you to hold the lift. So you're not, you're not throwing him out the top, but I want you to chase your feet enough that you can hold him there because the weight's just going straight through you. Right, hold. I love my time here at Millfield. Uh, some of the best years of my life and of my rugby career. It gave me the opportunity to express myself. I think that was the biggest thing for me is just the opportunity and the confidence and the exposure on a really high level. But that's, wor that's worst case, like that's never gonna happen. But like, I want you to have that stability that you feel like you can go for all of this stuff. Personally, I really enjoy coming back and helping. I enjoy my coaching myself, so it's good for me to be able to give back where I can, but also experience different levels. So coaching at a school is completely different to coaching at amateur rugby and helps me personally as well as helping the lads hopefully as well. We had a really good side last year who were uh, um, quite un millfield like, which right. is quite dominant, yeah. quite dominant physically, and actually not great passes of the yeah. ball. We struggled to get the ball in the uh, in the wide channels, right? And actually here we got a couple of real decent passes yeah. across the you know 10, 12 to give us some good chances to get it wide. And when that works, it looked fantastic. Yeah. So three games, basketball, volleyball, football in the middle, just those little ones. So if we split them three ways, there'll be about four a side. Okay boys, let's uh, make a start and just zone into me for a minute, please. Plan for this morning, please keep topping up on water, force yourself to drink on that. Very low intensity this morning and then we're going to spend a bit of time uh, with Aaron doing some uh, stretching movement stuff back into the games. We were invited out for the Bill World Schools Festival, coming out and playing three games over, over our week's stay. So we were sort of just here to, to test ourselves against the rest of the world and, and see where we were at compared to South Africa and, and New Zealand and, and so on. I think it's a really good challenge for us being here. I think the purpose is to try and prove how good we are as a team and how far we've come this year. Many people don't get this kind of opportunity to come out to Thailand and I just feel it's just brought the whole team closer from like the 12 hour plane journey over to sharing rooms with the boys and you know just always being around with each other. There it is. Yeah. No set Jack Lee, set. It's worked but let's play good volleyball not just win the point. All right, let's play good volleyball, come on. Here we go. Yeah, I love it. 
Yeah, yeah, set, set, set. Oh, that's not really a set. Set him, set him. Yeah. Let's play good volleyball, lads. Come on. Yeah, we won the point, but we can win the point by slapping the floor. Playing rugby in England quite a lot. It's quite cold out there. Not, not the warmest of weathers. You don't have the best of days. And flying out to Thailand, it's been sunny since we've been here. Different, different conditions and hard to adapt to. Ten minutes. With me now. Yeah, movement based. Happy. I wish that you were mine. Are we doing the same thing? Uh, oh. oh, mate, I don't have the balance for that left foot. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's tough. No, it just feels like you've got weight on you. I think it's just an opportunity to bring those great rugby schools with, with rich okay. histories together, sharing the love of the game across the world and an opportunity to have some great m memories alongside that. I think the opportunities of playing here are really important for schools rugby and we've said a few times this year our key purposes beyond being Millfield and Millfield Rugby is what we contribute to schools rugby and we have a real belief in the value and the values that that can bring the boys and girls that play it. The benefits of school sport and being able to share that on a, with a wider audience has been a great opportunity for this trip in particular. Right, boys, let's uh, let's bring it together. Get up to your phones or turn them down so they don't distract you or whatever, please. I'm just going to speak about our three like main strengths, the things we're good at. So when we've got the ball, our, our pass accuracy is brilliant, right? Our, our phase, our tempo. When we're playing quickly, we are dangerous, lads. There's no other team that do it like us, whether they're from England or the rest of the world. No other team does it like us. The last point we sort of mentioned was was the fact that there are so many players in this team that can change a game. Yeah, it doesn't really matter how they're going to play the game. If we get our three points right that we've just spoken about, I don't see them getting any, any foothold in the game at all. You're probably one person holding a bag. And chuck it in. Yeah, so these ones behind. So I was one... expecting those to be like 50 kilos. Mate, they're heavy. <laughs> That one, no, that, that, no, I think they're he those ones okay, are heavy. Okay, those are, yeah. 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 You've picked up a light one. I've picked up that one. <laughs> What's the other one? So we'll do 10 minutes there and then we'll shift over uh, onto there when they finish you go your way. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks. It's a better time of day now, isn't it? It's a little bit, yeah, it's uh, a little bit cooler. A little bit cooler. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going to defend as a six, guys. Both schools have got a sort of rich history in terms of their rugby and the sort of the quality of players that have gone on to some pretty special stuff. Uh, you know, the fixture list comes out at the start of the year. There'll be a big, big circle around the Seba fixture. Yeah, I'm two, I'm two, I'm two, I'm two. Oh, come on. The boys were all thinking about one thing and that was playing Seba and I think highlights how much that game means to um, to both sides. There we go, so the red, red, red. In poor today. Very quiet. Miles away. Noah. Yes, no. So let's not worry about the fact we're making little mistakes because that has happened in every single game this year. Okay, and our ability to deal with that and react in the positive manner is going to be hugely important tomorrow. Lovely Steph. And I think if the wind's like it is today, that right corner, yeah, right corner. pinning it in there and stuff, and then well, off our line kicks, having a license to have a crack and hit him up. Right, well done, crew. That will do us for today. Welcome to Partner Sports Resort, guys. Um, I'm glad you all made it. I think it's going to be an absolute fantastic competition. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and talking to you all over the next couple of days. Obviously, with my background, it's the English schools I'll be rooting for. So, Millfield, Segbra, hopefully, let's uh, take it to the rest of the world. Thank you, guys. Enjoy. You know they're doing like fire acts and that tonight yeah, for this. My mum told me yeah, there was going to be like a, a, two, uh, like a, a Thai dance.
personally my first time in Asia, so pretty special um, to be in another continent and see, see how other people live, obviously. I think we can get quite caught up in our little bubble at school. The experience for the boys have been in this kind of environment around rugby players who are a similar outlook to them but from very different cultures is is really healthy one I think. It's been like really diverse I think for my a lot of the boys like myself included. Very like different culture shock to a lot of us because we've never seen this part of the world before. Give it to Brocky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Brocky. Oh, that's sick. What's this gonna be? Oh! Yeah. It is the pinnacle of our of our season and it's always like who wins out of that is, is quite a big thing. One of our big aims this week was to come here and beat Sedbur, regardless of the performance. A special match for us because we'd just been put into the new English Schools Rugby Championship. It, it was a very special game because it was for the winner. A lot of pressure going into it, a lot of context surrounding it. You know, it's normally the big England rivalry, Milford v Sedbury as well. It was such a historic game with a lot of you know professionals. We were playing now internationals. We're playing now that have played in the same fixture, which just shows how how high of quality the game is and how much it means to, to both sides to be involved. Boys, um, waiting's over. OK, now's a good fun bit. Yeah, let's get out and do, do the stuff that you really enjoy. OK, everything that you've trained for, prepared so well for and got yourself in good shape for. Take care, just hold, hold, hold before he goes, hold before he goes. Stay square, back towards the ball. Go, switch on, we're switching on. Good, George. It's tough on that, Henry. No, no markers. Easy, that's fine. Come on, boys, hey. What, what's wrong? Uh, you feeling awful, eh? What's... Um, I'm sleep, sleep deprived for last night. You haven't, couldn't sleep? Couldn't sleep at all. Yeah. Do you feel like you need to be sick, or...? I just feel really just not Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't feel like I'm sick. Yeah. I feel like if I went into that, like, it's physical, like, get... OK, how can we help me? I don't know, sir, because it's a little bit just got me. Yeah, OK, cool. So I wanted to get you in the shade, get you inside. Um, yeah, I wanted to take Hugo in, sort of out the way. Won't do that. You know, we'd, we'll go back to him pre-game, but just in, in the shade. I just think him out the way, probably good for him. Everything you've prepared for, throw it out that first bit of the game, yeah? Don't hold back. We will use the guys on the side. We get you on and off, OK? If the heat's challenging us on that, we can. We'll move around. We've got faith in everyone here, OK? Let's make those changes. Your job on the pitch. Go hard at it. So 30 minutes of rugby with a water stop at 15 minutes. Referee Desmond starts the game. Millfield to kick off. Playing left to right. Millfield with the wind advantage for the first half. Go Jade, run! Yeah, Pete! Go on, Steph, go, you can think, go on! Go on! Yeah, Steph! Well done! Get in! Absolutely done if he'd got that ball. Right? We were so yeah, short. Yeah. He's just got an amazing ability to read stuff like that. It's like wow. Yeah, Pete. So he stood up. He stood up. Watch him play. Yeah, well, what? Jaden. It's five minutes till drinks break now. Yeah. So likely that I'll put you on there. Short bam. Watch him, skinny. Push through, push through, push through! Fred, just tell Henry 
Jack Lee and Alex Deering, they're going to come off for a spell now. Come and see me. The boys will, will we need just to be a little bit snappy with these looking after these guys, please. Go, Harry! Tackles! Go work! We go inside, boys. Inside, change your rooms. Let's get in the call. Let's get inside. Well done. Okay, from, from our, our nervous start in terms of getting into the game and pushed a load of those things, we've got done out the way without really getting going in our attack. You'll feel frustrated that we haven't really been able to attack yet. Okay, we're tending to wait and watch a little bit. This half, we go flat out, full pace. So off we go for the final 30 minutes of this enthralling game. Let's go! Go, Noah! Go, Noah! Go! go. Cut! Cut! This little blind win, here goes the winger, he's off, he's pacey. Recycled nicely, putting the winger into some space. Steps and goes inside, lovely offload. Next time on The Season. New Zealand the teams, the vibe and the culture is completely different to us. We've never played these guys. And let's go out and see what they're made of and enjoy showing what you can do. Yeah.